Hello friends, welcome to IoT Starters. Uh, today we are going to uh, connect. This is a DHT11 sensor, and uh, this is a very well known ESP826601 uh, module. It's a Wi-Fi module, and uh, today we are going to connect uh, these two. And with the help of a Blink app, we are going to read the data which will be sent by uh, this DHT11. Uh, using this ESP826601 over internet. Let's get started. So, as you can see, uh, this is a DHT11 uh, sensor module. It senses uh, humidity and temperature and uh, this is a very small module which has got four pins but uh, it has been uh, soldered on a small pcb and then out of that uh, three legs are coming out or three pins are coming out the first one is for signal second one is for uh, voltage input and uh, third one is for the crown and this module works uh, with 5 volt dc so you can apply 5 volts on it and it will be working and uh, the temperature range will be starting from 0 to 50 degrees centigrade and the humidity or the relative humidity will be uh, between uh, 0 to 100. So this is the range of uh, measurement for this DHT11 module. Now let's talk about ESP8266 over here. So ESP8266 uh, is a small Wi-Fi module and it is pretty widely used uh, in many projects and um, this has got many variants available in the market. So this is ESP8266-01 and uh, this has got uh, the actual Expressif chip is located here. Uh, I don't know whether you are able to see this. See, this is the Expressif chip over here and uh, it has got uh, it's a very small compact wi-fi module which is available and it's it's a very cheap module which is there this is the antenna of the module and there are two small leds over here one for power and one for communication signal status showing over here so this is what it is but this module strictly works on 3.3 volt it should not exceed a 3.3 volt otherwise it will burn it's now to connect or get 3.3 volts either you can use an Arduino board to get 3.3 volts uh, to power this uh, ESP8266 or you can use uh, this voltage regulator IC this is LD33V so this gives an output of 3.3 volt constant and uh, the first pin there, there are three pins it's very similar to a positive volt voltage regulator the first pin is uh, for ground second pin is for output that gives out 3.3 uh, volt and the third pin is for v in that is the input voltage you can give uh, between uh, 5 to 9 volts over here and it will give you a constant 3.3 volt and that works perfectly with this uh, apart from using this you can also use uh, um, node mcu which is very widely available but uh, the thing is like if you are using only one sensor then I think this is enough to handle this particular thing. There's no need to use a Node MCU because Node MCU has got a lot of pins in it and uh, only one pin is going to be used in case if you are using only one sensor. So it's better to always go with a, a small and a compact thing. Uh, it will be also, if you look at the project cost, uh, that will also be cheaper if you are going to use this compared to Node MCU, which is not needed in this project. But later on, I'll show you how we can uh, connect this with the node MCU as well. That would be very easy. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. So we are going to connect these components uh, as per the circuit diagram shown. We'll be doing it on a breadboard over here, as you can see, and with a couple of jumper wires. So let's start. So I have completed my connection in the breadboard. I have already uploaded the code in ESP8266. The code the link is given in the description box. You can check for the code. For power supply, I am going to use this mobile charger. 
and uh, this gives 5 volts 1 amps of current so this is enough to drive this entire circuit so let's connect it quickly and see how it works so as you can see the blue light is blinking and uh, which is indicating that it is sending the data uh, which is collected by this sensor over here let's check in the mobile phone in the blink app how we collect this data as you can see in the mobile section i have already configured in blink app and uh, the data is being reflected over there and the data which is collected by the dht 11 sensor the temperature and the humidity is uh, showing over the here in a real time basis it has a difference of one second to transfer the data so this is uh, all about this project hope you have uh, liked this project and uh, please do like share and subscribe the video i'll be bringing new more videos uh, for you guys i'll get some new projects on esp8266 and iot related till then take care bye